Do you want to know what makes the Sean Rakini Signature Cold Grips so soft? Today we're going to do and explain a review on the Sean Rakini Signature Cold Grips. As always, we want you to like this video, uh, share this video, turn on your notification bells, and comment below um, to win a bunch of free stuff from us and possibly win a free bike. Hang tight because later on in the video we'll tell you how to do just that. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, so uh, if you're not too familiar who Sean McKinney is, he's a pretty much street and park uh, badass. He just literally comes up with the craziest maneuvers and he just makes it look super, super simple. From grinds to crooks to whips, um, dude just has it all and he just never ceases to amaze me. He, um, he just, you know, I mean, has a great style and you know, I mean, he just, he just rides the bike awesome. Um, so, um, him and, and Colt linked up and they created these Colt grips and they are a little bit longer than normal and they have a pretty heavy duty uh, bar in. So if you're looking to buy these, you can hit that link right there and you can purchase the set right now. Um, but uh, let's tell you a little bit about it if you've never heard about it and you want to know a little bit more. So um, yeah, you know, like I said, these grips are super, super soft and uh, they have a pretty heavy duty bar end to keep them um, nice and secure and, and not fall apart. So uh, first thing first that I notice is that these are a lot longer than most of the grips. Uh, these come in at 160 millimeters long. So if you're wondering how long 160 millimeters are, so um, if you measure it up to here, you're looking at 16 centimeters, which is 160 millimeters. So uh, normal grip, you're looking about 143. So it's about a half an inch to uh, an inch, inch shorter on most of the normal grips. So having this grip a little bit longer is what bicycle riders have been asking for. And it actually puts a lot more rubber on your handlebar and allows you to have more uh, lenience when throwing bar spins and stuff like that. So just making it extra long is, is very, very cool. Um, this grip is actually made, manufactured here in the USA, uh, like very other few grips are, are made. Uh, this is uh, actually made by ODI Grips. If uh, you're familiar with BMX and grips and stuff like that, they're in-house uh, brand that manufactures uh, their own grips by injection molding. And uh, Colt set out to make a, a high quality grip and the ODI grips have been doing really well and they just linked up with them and uh, it just made it perfect because they already have good rubber and have good designs and stuff like that. So put, pulling it all together just makes it work really, really nice. So um, what, um, what actually is, is uh, th these grips, uh, they have a, a rib style pattern which makes them super, super soft. Uh, so if you're familiar with like a lot of the, the rib pattern grips, uh, this is really, really similar. But if you, you make notice, I'll scoot up here a little bit. Um, these actually have a little bit of wave to it. And the wave is designed so that uh, you, when a normal rib grip is there, you can, you can run forward and backwards. But as you start going sideways like this is where you want to kind of get a little bit more grip. And even, even when you're doing the throttle, having the little wave kind of keeps it from, from uh, collapsing and falling back like so. So having a little wave um, gives you just a little bit more grip rather than just having the, the rib pattern uh, on your grip. Um, another thing is, is that it's got a pretty cool Colt logo right here. These grips are super, super simple. So you can see the rib pattern with just a little Colt logo and it just makes it look super, super nice. Uh, these are able to be ran on either side. Uh, you could run it on this, this towards the end or this side on the end. But uh, most people are gonna run the Colt logo on the outside so that this, this Colt logo lasts and then the actual inner part just wears. Uh, this grip is a little bit different than a lot of the other grips. I've noticed a lot of the other grips, they have um, the butt of the grip or they have the, the inner part of the grip and it kind of sticks up a little bit to kind of hold your hand. Uh, this one doesn't really have that. If you look at it, it's completely flat all the way around, but they did add a solid rubber to the ends of it 
here. So this side is a little bit thicker towards the end where you would put the bar in, and this side's a little bit thinner just to, to keep it, um, I guess your hand from, from going in too, too far into the handlebar. So super, super simple design. And then all it has is a little logo right here or a little you know, I mean, print right there saying made in the USA. Uh, if you can see that, I'm gonna try to let you guys see it. But this grip is a 7 8 um, inner diameter. So most of the bicycle um, handlebars are 7 8 so this, this grip is, will actually fit that. I believe it's a little bit smaller than 7 8 um, just so it can make a tight fit. Um, you gotta realize that these are just rubber, so these things can stretch out pretty wide and they can fit on almost any tube that's larger than 7 8 So we've actually put these on one inch handlebars, uh, motorcycle throttle tubes and stuff like that. And then if you have a, a mountain bike or something like that, you could even cut them right here if you have a, a twist or a grip shift, a, sh a shifter on your bike. So you could actually cut it in half, place these on your, your bicycle, and um, actually get two pairs of grips out of it. So, you know, I mean, one pair of grips will fit on you know, I mean, both sides, and then you have an extra uh, grip to cut in half again and make another set. So if you have a mountain bike, um, you can definitely cut them in half. These fit on all the mountain bikes and stuff like that. Uh, if you want it a little bit shorter or say you have a little kid's bike, um, you could definitely cut it here on the ribs with the razor blade and actually make the grip shorter for the little guys. Uh, another thing that I've noticed is that it has a little bit smaller diameter than most of the other rib grips. A lot of the rib grips are kind of fat and this one's a little bit uh, thinner. But um, I don't know, it's, it's, the ribs seem like they're, they're just as tall as the other ones, that they just like thinned out the inner part of the, the actual rubber. So it makes it pretty nice, especially for the little guys if they're trying to find a grip that's small enough for their little hands. These, these grips work perfect. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a little bit, little bit thinner grip, then definitely check out these, these Sean Kenny signature Colt grips. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, let's talk about the bar end. Um, these bar ends are uh, really similar to the, the par ends. Uh, I believe that the par ends uh, uh, was a patent. It just expired about, um, I would say about a year ago maybe, maybe a little bit less. But since then, um, other companies are allowed to use that technology and to actually create the similar product with the same design. So this is just a generic you know, I mean, bar plug. It has a, a nylon bar end, but it has these four, four slits in there um, shaped as a plus and then it has this Allen head that's on the other side. So when you push this onto the, the handlebar and you tighten up this bolt, this, this bolt actually makes these four little pieces expand and actually grab into the, in, the inside of your handlebar. So that's very, very cool. Uh, another thing is, is that if you look at it, it has an actual little lip inside of it so that the handlebar actually sits inside of the actual bar end and this bar end actually goes over the actual handlebar. What that does is it traps any of the dirt or grime from going into your actual grip, um, and then it puts a nice seal against your grip right here, keeping any water or, or dirt or anything like that from going in it. As well, it keeps your handlebar um, staying super fresh on the end and keeps it from actually denting or scraping up or getting sharp and being able to puncture you. You know what I mean? So definitely a cool idea. Um, cool idea that they have, you know what I mean? This style bar end, this, this is one of our best selling bar ends and um, yeah, I, mean, I can definitely see why if you see it in person or you try some of these, these things will last forever. But um, yeah, that's it for the Sean Rokenny uh, Signature Colt Grip uh, Explained and Review. If you guys want to buy some of these grips, you can buy them at our website at stackbmx.com. These grips fit any of the handlebars on our website, any of the bikes on our website, any of the any, any bar ends. Um, and yeah, they, um, they fit about 95% of the bicycles out there uh, from beach cruisers to mountain bikes to, um, you know, I mean, they could even go on motorcycle throttle tubes, like I said, uh, a lot of kids' bikes, any department store bikes, stuff like that. Most of them are 7 8 uh, bar, and these are relatively cheap, so you can buy a set for under 20 bucks shipped to you guys, um, no problem. But um, yeah, that's a. Uh, that's it for the for these grips. Uh, 
but yeah, you, uh, what did I say? I'm kind of mumbling, but uh, we, we told you guys how we're going to tell you how to win a bunch of free stuff from our bike shop. So at 2,500 subscribers, we are going to give away a free parts package filled with tires, uh, grips, pedals, and a seat uh, from all the brands that we carry here. Um, and then at 5,000 subscribers, we're going to give away free bicycle retailed at uh, $300, shipped to you guys free of charge. All you gotta do is like this video, turn on your notification bells, uh, share this video, and then comment below and tell us what you like about our videos, what you don't like about our videos, uh, what products we should review in the future, uh, what um, tech tips you guys wanna know, uh, what events you guys want us to cover, uh, pretty much anything that's in your mind. Uh, you guys are young and you guys are out there riding bikes. You guys really don't have a shop, so there's stuff like that to go to to tell you all this stuff. and. Uh, we kind of want to hear it from you guys so that we can help give you guys that stuff uh, because when we started off riding we didn't really have YouTube or anything like that. We had VHS tapes and they came out very seldom and it was really hard to see bike tricks or understand about BMX or anything like that. So with the web it's super cool because now we can interact with you and all you guys do got to do is comment below. We'll read it and then we'll also enter you guys into those contests. Um, but uh, if you want to buy these grips you can uh, buy them from right there in that link right there uh, you could subscribe to our channel to enter the contest right there uh, you can watch another video right here um, it's pretty much something they suggested for you or you could check out other explainer reviews about other products that we have right there but uh, thanks a lot for watching our videos uh, thanks a lot for supporting us thanks for all the comments we love you have a good day we'll see you tomorrow